WWE No Mercy is tomorrow night on the WWE Network, but tonight we bring you Be the Booker with our fantasy booking on the big event. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report. Be the Booker. Damian Nelson sitting along. Oh, all hail be the Booker. No. No? No. No. Work. no. Uh, Damian Nelson sitting alongside David Hero here on Saturday, October, what is it, the 8th? 7th? Uh, who cares? It's Saturday. It is Saturday. And tomorrow night is No Mercy from WWE on the WWE Network. And here on this show, Be the Booker, what we do is give him the marker, the pencil, if you will, and he will write the show in his own fantasy world that he lives in each and every day as to how he would book it if he were the man making the decision. So, David Hero, let's, without further ado, yes. go right to the first matchup we're going to talk about, which is Randy Orton taking on Bray Wyatt. Which is a marquee matchup. It could be a main event on this It paper. could be. You got Randy Orton, who has been playing mind games with Bray Wyatt, who's been trying to play mind games with Randy Orton. Yeah. Both guys, like I said, have been stuck in neutral. Bray Wyatt has not had a, a, a meaningful victory in a long time. He has not. He doesn't really have anybody with him anymore. Does not. And you got Randy Orton, who got his butt beat by Brock Lesnar a couple months ago at SummerSlam. You got to believe that this match here... Oh, you're going that, that way again. You were right last time you did that, Sheamus and Cesaro well, but because, on Clash of Champions. Because neither one should beat each other. Let them just beat the crap out of each other. It's the first match they've had yes. in a three-month or two-month story since yes. SummerSlam. Yes. So let them both go at it. Let them both, you know, save it. Don't beat anybody yet. Make it easy. I could. It makes some sense. Now, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, one of the two, which we talked about on prime time, out with surgery, yes. so he doesn't have a bench anymore. Anybody no. that really help him does Bray Wyatt. But what about that super sister Abigail tease this past Thursday well, on I, Tuesday on SmackDown? You know what? She could be there. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Someone's helping Bray Wyatt get all of his stuff done. Maybe Eva Maria, super sister Abigail. Never gonna happen. All right. I like the way you booked that, David Hero. Mo diggity. Uh, Heath Slater and Rhino will team up to defend their tag team championships against the Usos, the Urban Usos, I believe I ever heard them called yes. this past Tuesday night on SmackDown. And, and you know, last you week, know, they all live in bad areas. Well, they're urban. It's one of my talking points as a Trump supporter now. Oh, they all live in bad areas. Yes. They all have crime. They can't walk out the house. They can't walk out of the house without being shot. Well, that's terrible. We're going to fix that. Well, let's hope they, they crawl out of the house then so they don't get shot. We're going to fix that. Heath Slater Big last thing. week. Tapped out big time. Bigly. Bigly. Mm -hmm. Slater and Rhino, the novelty act has wore off. Heath yeah, Slater. It really has. Heath Slater. Real quick. Heath Slater got his contract. The Usos, the best tag team in all of WWE right now, is will become the tag team champions on the SmackDown brand. Is this another case, David Hero, of uh, fan support, fan support, fan support? They got what they needed. Yep. Now they're done with them. Now they're done, yes. American Alpha has been very deeply involved in this situation, yeah, though. Do next. we see them? They're next. Okay. I would love After to see the Usos take the championships. The, go ahead. I'd love to see at the Survivor Series. Remember that we used to do the 10 the team, five on five, yeah. Five on Elimination. Five, but do the tag teams against tag teams. Elimination style? Yeah. Remember Could one, be interesting. Remember when one year was the Bulldogs? Yeah. And one team against Demolition's team? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, Nikki Bella will take on Carmella. Nikki yeah. Bella, whose sister Brie is expecting a baby. How about that? <coughs> See what happens when you fool around? Watch out for that. That's a high spot. But Nikki Bella and Carmella, oh my good God almighty, I hope this is the end of this one because Nikki Bella has been getting her handed to Excuse her me. by Carmella. You feel better now? Yeah. Don't choke. <clears throat> Nikki Bella needs to put an end to Carmella. I just don't see it. I don't get it. You don't it. like Carmella. Let's be real. I'm, I'm just not into she it. She hasn't been sold to you. No. Would you buy her? No. Would you pay for her? No. No. Nikki we Bella, talked about the SmackDown brand Nikki, of females being a notch below the Raw brand yes. of females. And Nikki Bella is going to get her revenge after all these last few weeks of Carmella getting over on her. That could be the case Sunday night, tomorrow night at No Mercy, WWE No Mercy. Where is it coming from? Do you know where they are? What building are they in? I don't what know. What city are they I in? I don't know. Oh. 
feels like somewhere on the East Coast. Um, Kurt Hawkins is going to be making his debut tomorrow night at uh, WWE No Mercy. Oh, that's This has been hyped for weeks. Kurt Hawkins. <laughs> and that'll be my DWHS. Oh, oh, really? Because, They're going to make sure. Yeah, he's doing fantastic. Uh -huh. He's going to come out there and get a big win, dominate. They're going to build that character up a little bit, much like Heath Slater, to get him over and then do something else with him. All right, folks. Well, an interesting start to the show. One more match I want to talk about before we take a brief time out, and that's Becky Lynch defending the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship against Alexa Bliss. Yes. <sighs> Becky Lynch is the girl. She is the woman yeah. on SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Do you support um, her as champion? Absolutely. Alexa Bliss is out of nowhere. And like I an just, RKO? I just can't see Alexa Bliss coming into SmackDown and upending the first ever SmackDown Women's Champion. There was a lot going on between team. these four women on SmackDown on but Tuesday, though. But you need to make Becky Lynch strong, dominating. Yeah. Marker? Strong and dominating. But I, I fully expect Becky Lynch to stay the Women's Champ until WrestleMania. Yeah, that's a, no. Oh. I was going to say through No Mercy for sure, but mm -hmm. um, perhaps they too are building to a Survivor Series kind of gimmick with uh, all these women, because of especially after what we saw this past Tuesday on SmackDown. Well, folks, Be the Booker for WWE No Mercy continues in just a moment. We're going to talk about the main event matchup where three men will vie for the WWE SmackDown World Championship, and one of those men could surpass or ex meet, rather, a record that one that many never thought would be broken. That, when we come back... The biggest party event of WrestleMania weekend is back. WWE Hall of Famer Kevin Nash presents Shenanigans Orlando. Join Nash and his friends for a huge VIP party Friday, March 31st. Party with the biggest stars of wrestling at the world famous Mangoes on International Drive to kick off WrestleMania weekend. Don't miss Shenanigans Orlando hosted by Kevin Nash. Tickets are available now and going fast at PWRshow.com. That's PWRshow.com. Yes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report. Be the booker for WWE No Mercy tomorrow night on the WWE Network. Damian Nelson sitting alongside David Hero. And David, let's talk about what you done did so far here on this program as fantasy booking, if you will. You say that Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt still have some steam in that story, yes. thus ending in a draw of some sort. No winner, no clear to find winner tomorrow night at No Mercy. Heath Slater and Rhino will drop the tag team championships to the Usos who are on their way into a feud and program with American Alpha. From there, Nikki Bella gets a win over Carmella. Kurt Hawkins, well, he will win in his debut, yes. I guess, whatever yes. it is he is going to do tomorrow night at No Mercy in his in-ring debut, I guess you can call it, for the SmackDown brand. Becky Lynch retains the WWE Women's Championship on the SmackDown side of things in a failed effort by Alexa Bliss. Three big matchups, three real strong matchups on the top of this card. One of them might have to explain a little bit why it's strong, and that being the next one we're going to talk about, Baron Corbin versus Jack Swagger well, coming out of this here's Tuesday why it's SmackDown. Strong is because Baron Corbin tapped to Jack Swagger, reaching for the ropes. On SmackDown, reaching so for the ropes. So now, now there's heat. Now there's meaning for this match. Yeah. There's heat. There's something that Baron Corbin now wants to fight for. And he got beat by the new guy. And he, well, the new, the new on old SmackDown. Guy. Baron Corbin, I've said it, he's a stud. That's why he's on Team Super Friends. Are you a mark for Baron Corbin? I am. I'm a Baron Corbin fan. I'm not a, mark, not a mark for anybody, no. Why not? Because I'm not. Well, it's a ever? derogatory term. You shouldn't mark? use it. I know plenty of marks, and I don't consider any of them no. bad people. No. Baron Corbin destroys Jack Swagger. Really? Yes. Nah, because isn't that why Swagger's there? Yes. Even though Swagger can be there for bigger and better things? Jack Swagger's former world champion. I, had thought, could be I again. always thought Jack Swagger would have been headlining a WrestleMania. What's keeping him back? I don't know. He got in some trouble. Remember well, the old DUI they all thing get and all trouble. that stuff? They all that was a while trouble. ago, though. Yes. But something's keeping him back. I don't know what it is. Because they keep trying with him. He's a legit stud. He is. Mm hmm? Folks, this matchup, the stakes could not be higher as the Intercontinental Championship will be on the line as well as the career of Dolph Ziggler. The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler in the biggest match of Ziggler's career it tomorrow night. By Marcy. far, because if he loses, he's done. He's out of the WWE. He's not going to Raw. 
He's not going to NXT. He is done, done wrestling. Done. Ever, ever? He, you know, I mean, you, you can see him at a local bingo hall one of these nights. If you, uh, you I know. believe it was um, uh, $5 autograph signings and podcasts. Well, he'd get more than 5 bucks an autograph. Initially. He's done, he's done comic cons. He's done pretty well. But these two guys, this is going to be the match of the night. It's going to tell a great story. It's going to be a lot of selling. It's going to be the Miz getting over on Ziggler. It's going to be a lot of false finishes, and you're you're not going to. It's going to be a roller coaster ride of emotions. My only fear is that if Dolph Ziggler does win, then he's still stuck in the same program with the Miz. What I would because the Miz would need to get his title back. He huh? would, yes, but. Right now, I don't think there is a guy with more heat, steam, emotional investment on the roster than Dolph Ziggler. But wouldn't it be just weird if he comes up short? Be story making. But Dolph Ziggler, they need him. They need him on the roster. A little bit too thin. Folks, before we get to the main event, the championship match, I want to remind all of you to take a moment and subscribe to the Pro Wrestling Report here on YouTube so you never miss an episode and get episodes delivered right to your email inbox. So with that, folks, it is time to talk about the main event, the big match, the money match, and really does feature some tremendous talents. Three former champions going after one man for his championship. It will be Dean Ambrose against John Cena, against AJ Styles, a triple threat match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship tomorrow night at No Mercy. This match has been built tremendously along with the previously discussed matchup between The Miz and Dolph Ziggler. What do you say, Dave? And this match is going to be a fight. Um, part of me wishes Ambrose wasn't in it because Styles and, 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 and Cena have had such great matches. Did they ever finish their business, Styles and Cena, in your opinion? Yes. They did? Yes. Okay. When AJ Styles beat John Cena clean at SummerSlam, yeah. it was done. Okay. But John Cena brings a different dynamic. He brings an energy to this match that Styles and Ambrose can't bring by themselves. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it because I like what they've been it's doing. It's rare from them. you. Yes. There's several matches on this yes. card you're looking forward to. The last three especially, and but the tag but, match. But let's be honest, right now you got to keep going with the guy. you got to keep going with AJ Styles. I think somehow these two guys are going to X each other out. You know? And then Styles will get the victory over Dean Ambrose. So Styles retains and John Cena does not begin his 16th reign as world champion. No. Tying Ric Flair. He's not going to do that no mercy. It's been talked about. It was talked about in the ring on Tuesday yeah, on SmackDown. Of it's out stuff. there, if you will, which mm -hmm. is great. I it's think I don't think put, it matters it where it's going to happen. There. I think it matters if it does happen. It's just to put doubt out there. But here's what I want to go ahead and point out to you. We've talked about this match, the championship matchup being a marquee match, mm -hmm. the Intercontinental Championship being a marquee, ma marquee match. In one week's time, Corbin and Swagger being a marquee match. Mm -hmm. Lynch versus Bliss being a marquee no, match. It, Whether you like it. her or not, Lynch is a star, right? Yes, but not with Alexa Bliss. We've got Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt as a marquee matchup on this show. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches announced. Five of them. Four. Sure, I'll give you that. Then over half of them yeah. are marquee matchups from the SmackDown brand of brand, which we said just a couple of weeks ago was lacking at the top. Mm -hmm. How so with such a great card? Because it's been well written. Each match has an emotional investment. Yep. They've gotten there slowly. They did. They've gotten there deliberately. It was well written stories. And it wasn't just No Mercy, it was also Backlash. Yes. There's a reason SmackDown's winning in Battle of the Brands every week. SmackDown is, is, is the show to watch. You know, for years, Raw was better than Nitro when Nitro was winning in the ratings. For years, Nitro was better than Raw when Nitro when Raw was winning in the ratings. Mm -hmm. They're not competing, so I get that argument. It's very different right now. But when will the wrestling world's eyes open to SmackDown? Does it, is it going to take time for a habit to be formed to watch it on live on a weekly basis? After the Rumble. Because the Rumble could do huge things. The Survivor Series can do huge things, especially if, I still hope it's the Rumble versus the Survivor Series, but it might be Survivor Series, that Goldberg versus uh, uh, Brock Lesnar matchup happens. That's going to be at the Rumble. It has to be. has to be. Uh, yes. Otherwise, how are they going to fill that building? You need time to build that match. You just can't rush it in a month. When Triple H announced on Twitter, the Rumble being in San Antonio, he talked about uh, uh, big stars returning, basically. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody assumed Shawn Michaels because he's from San Antonio. 
perhaps it was right in front of us again. He's talking about this money match between Brock Lesnar. Absolutely. And Goldberg. Goldberg, who sold out the Georgia Dome with 40,000 plus people Hulk on a Monday Hogan, night. With Hulk Hogan. But who, who did it? But wrestling was Well, hot. he was undefeated. I think Goldberg played a larger hand in that sellout than Hulk Hogan did on that night. I think it was both. I do. Let's talk about what you done did here, David Hero. What you would book tomorrow night at Be the, I'm sorry, at No Mercy here on Be the Booker. Firstly, Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. No contest, no winner because they need to continue. Heath Slater and Rhino no longer the tag team champions as they defeat, lose to the Usos. Nikki Bella losing to Carmella. Kurt Hawkins debuting and doing something probably entertaining. Becky Lynch continues her reign as champion after defeating Alexa Bliss. Baron Corbin gets a win over Jack Swagger because Baron didn't tap out on no, Tuesday. Dolph Ziggler keeps his career and gains the Intercontinental Kind of championship, uh, defeating the Miz, who can definitely, he can absorb that defeat, right? right he can afford can. that Absolutely. defeat. Yes. And then the main event, AJ Styles retains against two very formidable competitors, that and John Cena and Dean Ambrose. And John Cena does not achieve his 16th world title reign tomorrow night at No Mercy. I think there's a chance that might It's going to be a great pay-per-view. You need to watch this one. It is a can't-miss show. It is a great show. It is probably going to be the best pay-per-view of the month. We're three weeks in a row, David Hero. Clash of Champions, Bound for Glory, and now No Mercy. No Mercy is probably going to take the win. Oh, easily. Hands down. That already has, hasn't it? Hands now, this could yes. be... Uh, there's no way it can't be good, really, <laughs> looking at it. Yeah. But... The main, uh, event, well, the main event alone is good. That has been Be the Booker, ladies and gentlemen. No Mercy tomorrow on the WWE Network. And tomorrow, PWR will have a special episode. We go in-depth looking at the current state of professional wrestling, including its champions. And when you wrap around all the champions and all the companies right now back to where they came from, it's a very interesting story that's being told. That tomorrow night in a special episode of PWR In-Depth. For that one, this, this one. is Damian Nelson saying thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow on PWR In-Depth.